Welcome to the Quick Hitter version of Catch and Shoot 2.0. Along with Otto Strong, I'm Bruce Bernstein, and I'm filling in for Aaron Berlin. Our featured conversation this week is with Suns beat writer Dwayne Rankin of the Arizona Republic, who shares with us the secrets of Chris Paul's incredible leadership skills. Earlier in the conversation, Dwayne, you you alluded to Chris Paul's, you know, experience with some of this stuff and, you know, clearly referring to his time with the Clippers and the right. whole Donald Sterling mess. And of course, Monty Williams, who should have been coach of the year last year, uh, <laughs> you know, he was my preseason pick, by the way, and I was so disappointed that, that Thibodeau got it. I thought Monty totally deserved it. Anyway, I got to move on from that. But so you talked about the leadership and Chris Paul has generally been acknowledged by pretty much anybody in the know as being perhaps the one or two best leaders of a team in the NBA. I think you had to put LeBron in there too, but certainly CP3. What is it about his leadership style that is so effective? Oh, he's, he's a, he's a constant. The guy doesn't let up like literally like he talks 24 seven. Like Chris Paul is constantly in your ear. Like he's constantly talking. He's constantly telling you what you need to do. He's constantly talking with Coach Williams. The guys, those two talk watching game. Like Chris sitting on his couch, Monty sitting on his couch in Severn Homes, and they're literally texting each other like, did you see that? Because they know each other, they, each other watching the same game. The guys can't wait till 4 or 5 o'clock to start watching basketball. I mean, it's insane. Like, they, like we're talking about Chris likes – gym rats, people that just constantly are thinking the game. And he's got a few gym rats starting with Monty Williams in terms of wanting to sit and watch games. But, but Chris, is, Chris is the guy that holds people accountable. And I've been saying it all along. The way you play helps reaffirm what you say. And when you're scoring 19 points in the fourth quarter against Minnesota, to pull out the game, who's not gonna listen to you? Like if, like, like if he says, go climb a mountain and you say, why? And all he gotta do is say, well, I climbed one and I scored 19 points in the fourth quarter. You do the same. I mean, what, 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 you gonna argue with him? I mean, he's playing at such a, it's such an elite level. And I've been watching Chris Paul since college. And I, you know, I mean, he's definitely one of the best point guards I ever played. And I thought he deserved to be on the, the top 75. But the way he's playing now, it's insane to watch, really. Like, he'll go three quarters where he's just passing, 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 you know, and he'll get a rip move foul on somebody or, you know, he's, and then all of a sudden, fourth quarter, it's like he hits this, he gets in this mode. Like, it's it just – so his ability to not only – you know that he's 17 years in the league and what he says, he knows what he's talking about. He's the only guy I've seen – he literally goes in the coach's huddle after during a timeout. Like, I've never seen that. I've never seen a player just literally go in and start talking to the coaches while they're in their coach. Yeah, that's like sanctuary, those coaches in their little huddle. He just walks right in. Like, I got a pass to come in here to speak my mind on something. And they're not arguing it. They're like, come on in. I mean, like, he has a power on this team that a lot of guys in the league would love to have with their team. It's right up there with the LeBron influence where what he says goes. I mean, JaVale McGee is there probably because of Chris Paul. I mean, so it's like he has a lot of say in what happens. And so and the reason, a big huge reason for that, the number of years and also the experience, the know-how he knows, he's seen it and done it over and over and over again. And uh, he, he, he's, he's, he's in your face. But he also acknowledges when people play well. And that makes the guys feel good. Like Mikael Bridges says, he views him as a close friend. He's called Mikael Bridges. He's like, he's one of my children. You know, the way Mikael's kind of silly. You know, Mikael kind of has his, as a sense of humor. He's like, yeah, it's like my kids. That doesn't go over well with certain dudes. But it goes over well because there's this genuineness going on with them right now. And, uh, and winning helps. But Chris is bulldog, he's in your face, he's constructive, but they know it's coming from a place of him wanting to win the game. And I think that run to the finals, they saw, okay, well, yeah, 
He knows what he's talking about. Now, had they went 500, <laughs> they might be tuning him out this year, but they didn't. So, so they're, they're, they're fully locked in on whatever he says. And DeAndre Aiden is, you know, they've had like, they're sitting down one-on-one talking about the game. They're literally like, he's like the coach. Like your point guard is a coach on the floor, but off the floor, like, like it's insane what's happening with that. Like to see that evolve that, that fast and, uh, and relationship with Devin is, is, is perfect. They're like, they're, they're brothers. It's not big brother, little brother. It's equal. And, uh, Devin goes at him. He goes at Devin. And so uh, when you have your two best players, that kind of respect for each other, but want to compete. Cause that's what Chris is about. He's about competing. If you're not competing, you're going to have issues with him. So he forces that hand where you have to compete. And uh, Devin's all in for that. And when those two are all in, everybody else just follows suit. If you'd like to hear more of our thoughts on what's happening around the world of basketball, check out the full version of Catch and Shoot 2.0 from Pure Hoops Media. You can also see the video version of the Catch and Shoot Quick Hitter on the Pure Hoops Media YouTube channel.